Hi there, and welcome back to this Great Economy Lecture on Financial Maths. So today we're going to be having a look at compound interest, and in particular the compound interest formula. So if you look at page 30 on your log tables, um, the compound interest formula is this one here. So it's F is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus I all to the power of T, where F is the final value. So I like to think of that as the future value. So the amount of money we're going to have in the future. And it says P is the principal. And again, I like to think of that as the present value. So for me, F is the future value and P is the present value. Okay. So I'm going to give us an example. So if we had, let's say, 100 euro, we were investing 100 euro and we had 5% AP or okay, so you might have seen this before AP or and um, what it means is annual percentage rate. So the key word there being annual, and sometimes it's written as a E or it's um which is an annual equivalent rate, but they mean the exact same thing. And um, the key letter there obviously being A for both um uh, for both cases, okay. So how would we figure out how much you'd have after a year? So I'm after writing it down here. You would multiply 100 by 1.05. Okay, so that's how you'd figure out how much you'd have after a year because you're adding 5% onto it, which is equivalent of multiplying by, uh, by 1.05. So we'd have 100 and 5 year. So after the second year, how much would you have? Well, it's going to be 105 euro, and we're going to multiply it by this 105 again, 1.05, I should say, and we're going to get um, 110.25. So again, we're taking the 105, and we're multiplying it by 1.05. Okay, so that is the most important thing about compound interest. We always take the last figure in our account and we get the interest on that. It's not just 5% of 100 for every single year. You get, you always get the interest on the last balance, okay? So, um, yeah, and we could go on and on and on. But really what we're doing every time is we're multiplying by this 1.05. And you'll actually see in the formula, that's exactly what we're doing. So our P, so I'll just write down the formula nice and big for us here. So this is our compound interest formula. So if we are to uh, think about what we've just done, well, we had 100 euro. And let's say, for example, we take uh, T to be two. So two years. Well, um, we always write our I as... Um, as a decimal, so 0 0.05. And so that's what we'd get after the first year. And if you want to figure out what we'd get after the second year, we'd also have to multiply by 1.05. So what's another way of saying 1.05 multiplied by 1.05? Well, a quicker way of saying that is 1.05 squared. Okay? And you'll actually see that's exactly what how they've written in the formula it's f is equal to p multiplied by one plus i to the t so that's the exact formula we have so let's try and uh, use this to figure out a question so let's say we had um an apr of 4.2 percent and we had um let's say a hundred and 70 euro invested um, in our bank account. So how much are we gonna have after, let's say, five years? So we're gonna have 170, so that's our present value. So it's gonna grow from there, so that's our present value. So one plus I, so what's 4.2% as a decimal? So it's 0 0.042, and we're gonna put this to the power of five. So the main thing is that we always put our i and our t to the same time value so we need to make sure that our interest is a yearly interest i.e an apr or an aer and that our t is also in years um, and obviously if it's a monthly interest our t should be in months etc etc 
And then we can type all that into our calculator and we should get an answer. So I'm just going to type that in very quickly. So 170 times 1 1.0. 4 to the power of 5 and we end up getting 208 euro and 83 cent 208 euro and 83 cent so that is how we use the compound in just one so thank you so much for watching this great academy lecture until next time happy learning